Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. If you guys noticed at the end, uh, now our URL or website is www.techbrothersit.com. So we bought the domain finally and we decided to name it techbrothersit.com. So if uh, you are opening uh, um, just by using uh, techbrothersit.com, this is where you are going to end up. This is no difference uh, what we had been using as our blog. So if you open a new page and say sqla.blogspot.com, you will be ending up at the same page so it is the same website we just renamed it or bought the new domain for this blogspot.com so I, I will recommend go ahead and start using techbrothersit.com from now on and uh, we all already have updated uh, all the URLs wherever they were necessary and uh, all other UR uh, URLs in the description of videos and everything will be still uh, keep working as uh, it is uh, so no change but uh, our new name will be techbrothersit.com this is also on the uh, YouTube so we have changed it if, if you see here your yeah, techbrothersit.com there are so many tech brothers it's kind of confusing so we have put it techbrothersit.com so that's how you will say uh, youtube.com backslash techbrothersit so you will end up with the, our page let's go back here and say techbrothersit so if you open this page it will bring you to our main page and from there you can go to the videos playlist whatever so I'm not gonna waste time uh, waste time here to show you I will make another video how to navigate through the website and uh, our channel so let's go to the demo what we want to do we want to read the subject email to email from and body and uh, all other information that's important to send in an email think about a scenario where our business users or any other process we have that update or insert the records into table and at, at the end of the day we need to send the email so each row in the table is a kind of having all the information that has it has subject email to email from and the body and subject so we need to read that loop through and send an email so what we are going to learn in this uh, video so we'll learn uh, how to read those information from a table and store into object type variable in uh, SSIS package by using execute SQL task next uh, we need to get each record at time so we will be using for each loop container and uh, then inside the for each loop container we will be using a send mail task we'll save the information into the variables and use those variables in the expressions so let's go and perform a demo real quick let me open SSMS so I have created a, a table called DBO mail and it has the email uh, ID is identity do, you don't care about that and we have email from email to we have subject we have uh, body so this information is there so I created these columns then I have inserted some records so if you take a look at the end there are two records in this table so we have email from this can be coming from any email so I can go ahead and change that to maybe another one I don't care so let me go ahead and put another record and here I'm gonna change instead of uh, you don't want to read my email uh, this, is, this is not really readable so it's my first and last name and 2001 that's where when I made Gmail account and now um, we can go ahead and say test three subject three so that's how we would know that okay this is the third line and insert this record now we have three records even uh, here in the email too we can change it so in, in my case I just I'm keeping it one uh, I have already opened the email so I can show you real quick instead of opening multiple emails so that's fine we have subject one two three we have some contents here now we want to read these uh, information and then send email so there would be three emails sent in this case now let me open SSDT SQL Server data tools you can open bids if you're using old version no big deal so you will click on SSIS packages and say new SSIS package. I recommend 
using uh, parameters and variable because they are important and you can change uh, the value of them by using the configuration and that's how you don't have to make changes to your packages in different environments uh, so in this case uh, uh, let's go ahead and uh, try straightforward we need to make one connection I could have changed or uh, save the value in parameter but I'm going to use straightforward connection manager very first thing what I want to do I want to read those three records or maybe more records from a SQL server table and save into object type variable so I will be using execute SQL task why I want to do it because once I have the records in the memory the so object type variable is going to store all the records in the memory and then I can go ahead and use the for each loop and loop through them and one by one I can send the email so here I need to make a connection let me see if I there is a connection so it is the connection is already there if not you can hit new and provide the SQL server name here and the database name here and that's how you will create your connection every video that I make I create a new connection so you, you would know that how to do it and then uh, we need to write the query that will extract the information for us uh, I can go ahead and write select start from that table but uh, ID I don't care about ID and uh, there could be multiple column I don't uh, need them so I will just write a uh, email from email to and whatever the columns I need I'm gonna get them subject and then body so these are the columns I need run the query just make sure it works in SSMS you don't want to put in SSDT and uh, figure out the errors there so paste it here looks good next uh, result set uh, here it is say none but uh, it is uh, returning more than one row so we'll say full result set uh, that can store multiple results or records and uh, here what when you say full result set we have to go to result set and then add a new variable and uh, for a new variable you can provide uh, let me go ahead and create a new one new variable and we can call this one email list or we can call it uh, yeah email uh, obj that's all so it is a email object type variable and uh, the value type is going to be object so hit o because we are getting more than one row and we have multiple columns and object type variable that can handle all those records and put into memory for us hit okay and then here you can provide zero because this is the first uh, results that we are getting if you will try to put another results that you can't really add one and all those kind of thing but even it you show show you here you can get multiple results set but that doesn't work so from one uh, executes equal uh, task you will be only saving one result set in the objective variable here so this uh, add button if you give you option here that's not really true so don't try getting multiple results set by using one execute SQL task now we are all good let's run this one and see if it is working it work great but we don't see the records anywhere fine because they are saved in the memory and we have to get them one by one we will use in a for each loop container and here in the for each loop container what I'm gonna do I'm going to go to collections in the collections they these for each item enumerator instead of that one we will be using the for each ADO enumerator so uh, this always give me hard time so you can call enum so whatever you call and then uh, rows in the first table fine here we will be select our email object so we got the object type variable and we want the rows we want to read from there and here we go to variable mapping this is very important as uh, we have multiple uh, rows come in uh, with multiple columns uh, so we have email from email to subject and uh, body so we have to create those variables those can store this information for each of the row on each iteration is gonna give us that information we have to store somewhere and then uh, email we are gonna say email from and it is going to be string fine just start with zero that's the very first so my um, and then we have email to okay the third one will be 
subject and then we have the body as you can see that it starts with zero here in the for each loop uh, container the very first uh, column you will be indicating with zero and then the other one will be keep going uh, with the zero and one and two so whatever the value is coming here see if email from that's first one so we start with zero two three four so we are good now each of the iteration values will be saved and next uh, what we want to do when the values will be saved we want to use them right here let me make it a little big so you can see that I'm using the VPN because I don't have set up my SMTP server so that's why here I need to use a send mail task inside that let's open this one and now instead of using the static values here we can go ahead and use the expressions and build these values first of all I can go ahead and create my SMTP connection so in this case I'm gonna hit new and uh, use the Windows authentication and this TBS client is the SMTP server name for us so that's good rest of that I'm gonna build from the expressions I'm gonna go to expression and here the very first property I want to find it email from so if I will say email from I will say from line so I, I keep pressing F and uh, I can uh, or I can use this drop down and here I have from line now in the expressions I will be using the variable so I have remember I have created the variable in the for each loop container and we have got those values from uh, object I variable that read the values from the table and saved into the object I variable so I'm going to use email from next part I want to send email to so I will say two line sorry two line here now we will use an email to evaluate expression if you like there is no values though and then uh, you have subject and also subject is coming from the variable as we were reading the values from the table and saving into the object I variable and then reading one by one by using for each loop container and the last thing is the body here it's called message source so body is called message source fine so we are going to use we call it body here in the variable we could have called message so it doesn't matter now we are all good hit ok great let's see what happened now no recipient is specified yes it is not specified because we don't have the value for you to take a look right now it is trying to validate one thing we can do we can go ahead in the variable put any ABC value doesn't matter that will take care of this error and the value will be overwritten by the for each loop container when we will loop through the object I variable or other part we can do we can go ahead and right click and go to the properties and set delay validation to the true so there are multiple ways to handle this type of error as we don't want to uh, this task send mail task to validate anything as of now because there is no value so we can set delay validation to be true the error is gone so now what happened at the time of execution it will validate but it will not try to validate at at start of the packet because there is no values right so by the time it will get here we will have the values and we will we are okay to let it validate each and every um, part or expression it is using so we are fine with that now we are all good I'm gonna save the package let's go ahead and run the package now it should send three emails one after one so it is sending emails fine this stop the package go to the email check the email so we don't see the email that's also the problem sometimes the email comes in uh, spams right if I go to the spams and that's where I can see the email came from so we have test if you guys see here we have a, a test subject one then uh, let me go to spam we can move them to the inbox if you want 
but uh, let me just take a look here subject to th this is the one second email came from and this is the third email came from so you can uh, take a look now it's our choice we want to move them to the inbox or wherever we want to move them we can go ahead and add them to the inbox inbox or whatnot the last email I would like to show you is here subject three right so we, we can see that uh, these many records uh, we have in the table and uh, that's why so with the subject one subject two subject three emails were sent now if you take a look here when I was inserting the records I did uh, put enter so carriage return was put in the uh, record uh, even you can't see it here but uh, I had put it that's why the email is kind of formatted in a way so that's the one, one thing you want to remember when you insert the records in the field so in the body or something you can go ahead and uh, hit hit enter or carriage return and uh, when you will send uh, them in the email it will format correctly so thanks very much for watching this video and I'm gonna go ahead and make another video where, where we will learn how to read multiple records from the text file or excel file and send an email to the each of the line so uh, stay tuned and uh, take a look thanks